By now, you may have heard that Sudan has signed on to a peace agreement with Israel. With the United Arab Emirates and Bahrain, that makes three Arab countries to have done so in only a matter of weeks. And more will follow if Donald Trump is re-elected. For decades, we've catered to Palestinian demands. Every time they've refused an offer, we put more on the table. More land. More cash. More pressure on Israel. And more money into the pockets of the makers of the world's finest war machinery. In the last four years of his presidency, peace and tranquility is spreading across the globe. And that means less demand for tanks, aircraft, bombs, and other weapons from our defense industry. How can our military contractors put food on their table? Pay the mortgages on their beach houses? Buy the latest fancy cars? and private jets. If this monster continues to allow peace to break out all over the world, homelessness and poverty is spreading among our nation's arms dealers, forcing them to beg for money in the streets like common drug addicted derelicts. But Joe Biden will reverse all of that. Joe Biden cares about our military industries. He knows their sacrifice and will reward them with contracts and promote more actions in the Middle East and beyond. Useless wars? Hardly. War is good for business. It's good for the economy. It's good for industry. War is good for America. And Joe Biden knows it. This November, vote Biden-Harris. Paid for by the military-industrial complex, protecting America and enriching ourselves. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. 